Hello everyone, and welcome to 403 Forbidden's video tutorials on how to program in C. This is part number one. So, um, if you watched part no zero, which was about the introduction and stuff, you know what we're going to be doing. And um, in this, I'm going to be showing you. Alright, let me just get some stuff set up here. Okay. So, um, I'm going to assume that you know nothing about the C programming language. And because of that, I am going to start at the very basic level, okay? This is GCC. You can find it at gcc.gnu.org. As it says, it stands for the GNU Compiler Collection. Now, here is how C works. You write a program in C. That program gets converted into a program. Um, that happens by it running through a compiler. Now there are a lot of compilers. There is an, a compiler from Intel, there's this one compiler called the Tiny C compiler, which makes programs very tiny but slow, and there is GCC. I like to use GCC. It's 100% open source. You can compile it yourself. You can do whatever you want. Now. A, um, a C program needs a compiler. Without a compiler, all it is is a bunch of text. The compiler is what actually makes it into the code that a computer can read. Now, you may be asking, how do I get this CC GCC program? Here's what you have to do. Open up the terminal by going here, and what you're going to need to type in is sudo to be like a super user, apt-get, which gets packages, install, which installs a certain program, and then you type in GCC. It asks you for your password. And for me, it says GCC is already the newest version, which means I already have it installed. Now, if it's not installed though, it'll ask you, mm, do you want to install this and this and this? You just say yes, 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 and then it gets installed. That's the only thing you need. Now, if you type in GCC-V, Dash V gives you the version information. It says it's GCC version 4.4.3. Voila! Now, 4.4.3 is not the current version. The current version is 4.5.1. But using it through Ubuntu makes it a lot easier. You don't need to compile it by yourself and all that. I compiled it by myself and it took like, like eight hours or something insane like that. But I have a netbook, so it can take things can take longer on a netbook. So, I'm going to show you the very basic, the most basic C program that you can make. Okay, here's what it looks like. There you go. That is the most simple C program that you can create. Now, let me go through what some of these parts are. We're going to start with this. This is an include, um, an include keyword. What this does is includes a file. Now, this file right here, stdio.h, if you go onto Wikipedia, library wrong. If you go to the Wikipedia page for the C standard library, it gives you a little bit of information about it. It says the C standard library consists of a set of sections of the ISO C standard, which it describes a collection of headers and library routines used to implement common operations. So what that means is that the C standard library is a bunch of files, this is the one that we just included, that contains a bunch of, um, contains a bun bunch of functions and things that, um, a bunch, a bunch of functions and um, things that you can use in your programs. Now, stdio is the one we just included. In this, if you go down, it says all of the functions that it contains. Now, the one that we need is 
is, here somewhere, is printf. printf is a function that allows you to print information to the screen. Here's where we use it right here, printf. What this does is it will give text back to the console, whatever text is in this little box here. And in this case, it's hello world. This is a hello world program. It's the most basic kind of, um, uh, the most basic uh, kind of program that you can do. Sorry there. Um, now let's see here. I don't think, does it have it in this? Hey, it does, yes. Okay, so printf has um, a couple of little identifiers that you can use. Uh, things that add little formatted uh, things to your code. Or, I mean, to the string that you're printing. And one of them right here, let's see if I can find it, is n, right here. Now, I believe it works a little bit different with n. What it is, if you type in slash, whoops, slash n, what this is is a new line. So, when you print this, it'll say hello world, and then it'll do a new line. Now, so right here, this is our first program. Um, so anyway, the next part of our program is int main. This part right here, integer, specifies that the return value of main is an integer. Now, if you don't know what a return value is, it is what a function, um, you know, like if I... If I call a, the main function like that and run it, what will happen is it's going to return an integer function. So if I, so basically, if I say, um, um, let's see, if I go like that, once main runs and say it returns a zero, this str string right here will evaluate to zero. Now that's actually not valid code, it's just a little example. So, main is a function that needs to be included in every single C program that will ever exist, or ever has, exists, has existed. Um, the main function is the first function that is, um, that is run when the C program starts up. So, when you run the program after it's compiled, the first thing it looks at is the main function right here and it executes anything within these two little identifiers, I guess you could call them, right here. This represents the start of the function, and this represents the end of the function. Now, printf is the function that we've called from stdio.h up here, and it's gonna print the text, hello world, and a new line. This right here needs to be at the end of every function or any, um, kind of any operation that you do. You'll, you'll understand why later, but I'll show you a little bit real quick, is um, in C, you can type this however you want. If you go like this, that'll work exactly the same as the original. If you type it like this and run everything together on one big line, That'll work as well, exactly the same as the original. It will, it will, it will work exactly the same as that. So this is our first program. We're going to go ahead and compile it. So what we need to do is we need to open up our terminal. We need to go to the desktop. If we hit ls, you see the program that's there is only one, program.c. So what we need to do is we type in gcc program.c. What this is, is the GNU compiler collection, and it's compiling program.c. Hit enter, and it's done. Minimize everything, and look, this file has appeared called a.out. If we hit properties, we can see that it's 7 kilobytes, 7,141 bytes, and this is the program that GCC has compiled. It has taken this, just plain text, and turned it into an actual program right here. So if we go into the terminal and we simply type in a dot out, look what happens. When we hit enter, it says, hello world. Congratulations. If you've been following along with me, 
you have written and compiled and run your very first ever C program. Congratulations. So, that's how C works. Now, there are a lot more functions. If you look on um, Wikipedia, you know, this is the printf function, but if we go back, oops, back again, there are a lot more files that are included with the C standard library. One of them is math.h. If you go into math.h, it shows you some of the functions that it has. It has things like cosine and uh, floor, and you can do an exponential function. Let's see, a lot of things in here. You can calculate square roots, tangents, stuff like that. You can, whoops, whoops, whoops. Sorry about that. You can convert, um, or you can take a number and raise it to the power of another number. You can do a lot of stuff. So that's just some of the stuff that um, can be done. We also have one called complex, which has a bunch of things for really complex numbers, I believe. Yeah, we've got complex inverse sine, complex cosine, complex exponential, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, there are a lot of things in here that, um, that can be used. If you want to go through them and look at them all, you can if you want. So that's the C standard library. Now, um, so I think this pretty much concludes this video. Um, again, quick refresher, this is including a file. And by the way, the C standard library is included with just about any system that has GCC installed on it. Um, I don't quite know where the actual files are on the computer. I'm not going to look for them now or I'd be wasting time and boring you. But, um, but they are somewhere on the computer. They're in, they're in a certain package that is somewhere um, installed on the computer. But just about everything um, has that C standard library. Um, so then we have the main function that get, gets called as soon as the program is started. You have this right here and this right here that define the beginning of the function and or the beginning of yeah the beginning and end of the main function and the printf function which prints text and the little terminator thingy here that says this is the end of this line. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is 403 Forbidden's video tutorials on how to um I lost my little thing there. <laughs> this is 403 Forbidden's video tutorials on how to program in C. This is part one. Um, for more videos like this, or if you want to just you know look at the entire series of videos, go to 403forbidden.dyndns.org. The links are down below or to the side or wherever they are these days on YouTube. And um, yeah, and I hope you enjoyed it. My email is 403forbidden403 at gmail.com. If you guys have any questions about the videos or anything like that, or you know, just want to say hi, whatever, shoot me an email. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next video, video number two, where I will show you a little bit about the um, different specifiers and stuff that, that are in the printf function, and also I think we look at a little bit about variables. So, I hope you guys...